Hello guys and this is the introduction to Scratch programming. We will learn about many things in this channel. So this is just the introduction to learn about Scratch. Okay, so now let's just tell you how to make a new project. Oh yeah, and this Scratch button, when you click on it, you will go to the home page, which is literally this screen. So now let's make a new project. You could either go to your things, like I actually have many things here, or you could just make a new project by going here. Create, you create a new project. Explore, you will explore other projects, ideas. You will see ideas to scratch and about. It is about scratch. So create is the first one. Let's show you what it does. Let's just use this untitled. So let's see inside. I'm just going to show you I'm just going to show you how it actually is when you make a new project. Yeah, everything is like this when you make a new project. Oh yeah, this is also Scratch 3.0. So if you're on Scratch 2.0 or Scratch 1.0, that's actually okay. Actually, nobody could even be on Scratch 1.0 or Scratch 2.0 because it became Scratch 3.0, the ones that are online now. So, Untitled, let's call it. Yeah, let's just call it Untitled because we don't even know what it is right now. And as we know that Scratch is all made of blocks, to make it in the middle, just put zero zero right there actually not there you can put it here to make it easier just not to put some code so I just put one flag clicked which is when this flag is clicked forever we are going to go here so it's going to go there but, if you put this random number, like, 50, and negative, negative 34, this is going to go all messed up. You could change, or you could change it from this code. You could, if you change it from here, it's not going to work. You have to change it if you add this code. So, zero, zero. So, it goes in zero, zero. You have to copy these, these to make it actually forever go. If, for example, if I do 45 and negative and zero, it won't work. It will go to zero, zero. So, we wanted 45 and 0. So, that's where we wanted him to go. So, yeah, that's all. With this block. So, there are so many that... Mm, speaking about math, the X and Y is literally... Like, X is... This, like, left and right, and Y is up and down. So, you could just change X by, forever change X by 10, and also you're going to go there. It's just going to, yeah, it's going to go change X by 10. It's X, so if we do it. For example, 90 or something. Oh, wait. 
We just ruined everything, but okay. Let's just delete it. It was still on. Change X by 90. 90? Uh-oh. Let's take this dude right there. 57 and negative 19. Negative 19? Yeah. And he goes there. But you could do it mm, <coughs> like 100 or something. It'll go for a head. I don't think it will go very far with 100 right now because it's already somewhere there in the screen. This is direction. The direction of the player. You could also change the direction of the player right here. Like that. Just play with him. So that's all. Now. Just learn about this block. One block clicked. You can also clean up the blocks. Oh yeah, you couldn't clean up the blocks because the the bl blocks together are called scripts, like this one. So you have only one script and you couldn't clean up the blocks, the scripts, I mean. So if we put one flock clicked, you could clean up the blocks. One flock clicked is a cap block. So cap blocks start scripts like this one and these in the events category. So, if we just put this right there, mess up the blocks, clean up blocks, it's going to make it all nice and clean, like this. Also, right on the zoom in place, where is it? Wait, this is weird. I thought there was a zoom in place here, but that's okay. You may see it, so you may see this minus magnify thing and the equals and another magnify th thing with a plus inside it. That means like you zoom in and zoom out and the equals means, yeah, it's just how this was. Oh yeah, you could also do this. Just how it was when you make a new project. So there's a bunch of blocks. This is the order of the blo of the block categories: motion, looks, sound, events, control, sensing, operators, variables, and my blocks. Oh yeah, this is a list. Let's just delete it. Oh yeah, when you make a list, you have all these blocks, which which uh, edit your list. And if I say show list P1, it's going to show the list. But you can click on hide list P1, it's going to hide the list. So I'll just delete this list. And it could do this. So when you make a variable right here, my variable, it always just says my variable when you start making a new project. So if we put for example, cat. So cat, it could be for all sprites, for all the sprites here they have, or for this sprite, only the cat. Let's just do for all sprite, sprites right now, and you can make it a cloud variable. Cloud variables are only for all, for all sprites, and cloud variables are used to make multiplayer cloud games so, so let's just click ok and if we make a new sprite let's just not paint paint anything it's for all sprites it's right there but if we go to the cat make another variable cat just around cat like the opposite 
for the sprite only and okay then it's not there cuz it was for this sprite only that's what happens for the for all sprites and this sprite only you could share share right here if you don't see this button then you have to make a studio to see it you could still go to the scratch also you could save your project right here it's saving the project and when it says project saved then the project is saved when it says nothing yeah the project is still saved you could change the language yeah it's all gonna be in this language so let's go back to english where's that right there english what we want so i'll just call it he's gonna go to zero zero and let's just go up make this zero make this zero and we're gonna call it mover actually let's call it x and you see it's gonna go there so this is a boring project you don't have to make it but i'm just showing you the introduction of scratch using this project and you could see project page now let's share just this project share it it has to save the project right away when you share it so uh oh weird but let's just make it like that actually let's call it nothing just a random project that does nothing and nothing add to studio this is my studio you could also make many other studios i don't know why it's called platforms mers and fighting games i'll i'll change the name one day so now yeah okay and it's added to the studio so you could make the comments off or you can make it on because it's your project now you could just click here to make it zoom in i mean full screen this go and stop you go and stop your project it says your project is now shared so yeah everybody can see it it's on yeah so bye guys thank you for watching this video and we will have new videos through the days so bye guys and i hope you enjoy this video